have you ever wondered what um, does a community think of you or talk about you? What a question, right? Well, let me see. That, does that scare you to, to think about it? Is it important or does it matter at all? I'm sure the audience will be divided into groups. There are those who will say, no, I don't care what people talk about me, care less. And there are others who will say, yes, I, I actually care and it's important to me to know what my community, my the people that I have them around me, they think of me, they, they talk about me. Well, let me take you to a scripture because even Jesus had this similar question. Let's read from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16. I'll divide it into three segments. Here comes the first segment, verses 13, 14. When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea in Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, Some say you're John the Baptist, some say you're Elijah and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. I want you to put attention to the way Jesus formulates the question, who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Because in the question, Jesus actually describes who he thinks he is. I, the Son of Man. I know who I am, says Jesus, and who I am is not determined by the things I do because usually commu the community's opinion about me, about us, is due to the things we do. Jesus says, I know who I am. I am the Son of Man. But what they think, do they think about me is different. They look at the things I do and determine who I am. But Jesus' question was not really about the community at large, was to make sure that his disciples knew him well. So he continues, verse 15, he said to them, but who do you say that I am? And then all of a sudden Simon Peter answered and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. What an answer. And yes, I, I know what you're saying. It's the Spirit who reveals. We'll read about it. But put attention to Simon's, Peter's answer. It says, you are, one. Number two, the Christ. Number three, the Son of the living God. The way I have revealed myself to you, says Jesus, is, is, is what you should know about me. I have revealed myself to you as the Christ, as the Son of the living God. So you trust Him, you obey Him, and it doesn't matter because of what He does in you. Your trust in Him has nothing to do with miracles or blessings, but your trust in Him is due to what He revealed to you about His person. I love you, Jesus. I trust you, Jesus. You are the Christ. You are the Son of the living God. And that is not because of what you do for me. It's because of how I, I, I understand or interpret the things. But it's the person whom I've come to know and I trust. Because the Spirit we're going to read reveals to us who He is. Matthew 16. Here comes verses 17, 19. Jesus answered, and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hate shall not prevail against it, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Powerful statement, powerful command uh, and power that Jesus gives to Simon Peter, to whom the Father revealed about who was speaking with him. Jesus, the Son of God. Now, this is going to be crazy, but Jesus is still recruiting more Peter. 
more Simon Peter who will go to the Father and Jesus will reveal himself. The Father will tell him, us, you, who Jesus is. And then in that revelation becomes the, fir the, the, the stone on which the church is built. You are built. Your faith is built. So today I want to make sure that uh, our understanding of Jesus is not because of the things he does. It's not because of the things he's promised. Now it's because of who he is. And that is revealed to us. You also can say, I know who you are. You are the Christ, the son of the living God. And God bless you for that. That is the biggest and most important revelation someone can have in this life because that revelation will take you all the way to eternity. Christ is revealed. God bless you.